hey guys and welcome to today's video so today we'll be studying about a uh, contact pair analysis and in this video i'll be demonstrating it with a very simple example of two rectangular plates compressing a cylinder at the center so as you can see there is a symmetry in this model and so i'll be just modeling half of this and as this center line does not move so it will be constrained in the y direction and uh, the bottom surface of this rectangular cuboid uh, is shifted upwards and therefore the displacement of this and the displacement of this will be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction so i've already uh, made the half of this model in creo and i'll be importing it in this uh, ansys and then i'll be showing you how you can model it further uh, so now i'll be uh, bringing up the model in this go to import click on igs okay go to browse option and here uh, select the model where you have stored so this is the uh, half model that i was talking about go to preferences structural click on okay in pre processes select the element type as a brick 8 node in solid Brick 8 node 185, click on OK. And in the material properties, uh, material, we'll go to material models and go to structure, linear, elastic, isotropic. So here I'll be entering the units in the CGS system. Uh, now we'll go to loads, define loads, apply, structural, displacement, and go to on areas. Select this area and constrain it in, uh, in the vertical direction UY. Click on OK. Now uh, select this face. And um, define a value of say 0 0.05 mm. So this face will move in the vertical direction in about with this magnitude. So now I'll be meshing up the model, go to mesh tool and here uh, go to hex option sweep and select this box option and make an entire box on this so that both of these uh, objects are selected. So as you can see the entire mesh is kind of created and now we'll just need to go to modeling option and create the contact pair. So an important thing about contact pair is that first of all you need to remember, in, remember that uh, the contact will move towards the target surface so here the target surface is going to be the curved surface area of the cylinder I click on ok and click on ok so now we'll be selecting up the contact surface and uh, now we'll be defining the friction between the two surfaces click create so as you can see uh, these blue arrows actually po point towards the normal of the respective surface uh, so click on finish and this contact pair is kind of created so now what we'll be doing is first of all go to plots multi plots and uh, we'll just go to the solution and solve this from current load step So the solution is done and uh, uh, so now we'll go to just general post proc and plot the solutions go to plot results contour plot element solution stress select the one mice stress uh, so now just click ok so as you can see the maximum stress comes at this point and the surface of this kind of gets deformed now what i'm going to do is go to plot controls and select, make the other half of this go to style and here we'll be selecting symmetry expansion periodic cyclic symmetry and we'll be reflecting it about the exit plane so this is the final geometry and i'll just now go go and animate the results deformed results stress and the one mice stress So thank you guys for watching and feel free to subscribe and um, if there is any problem, please feel free to ask. Thanks.